Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we will talk about the void return type in Java. So here is our outline. First of all, we will talk about return types and then we will see the void return type in Java. So what are return types? As you can see, they are types, right? And they are the type of the data that a method returns or gives. So let me tell you this. A method can return or give a value, all right? So let me give you an example. Consider this mathematical function, f of x is equal to x plus 1. Now, if you don't have a mathematical background about functions, no problem, you are going to understand everything. Now, as you know, methods are also called functions. The only difference is that a method is a function that is inside a class, all right? So this mathematical function is very similar to a method in Java. Let me explain. This x over here is just like a parameter to this function. And the x plus 1 over here is the return value of the function. So for example, if we give this function over here 5, then f of 5 will be equal to 5 plus 1. So we substitute x with the value that is given as a parameter, all right? Another example, if we give 3 over here, then the value will be equal to 3 plus 1. So this mathematical function is giving us or it is returning a value, which is x plus 1. And x over here is given as a parameter, all right? So now, what is the return type of this function? Simply, it is returning a number, right? Because x plus 1 will be a number. So the same thing applies for methods or functions in programming. We can create a method that takes a parameter and return some value. It's exactly similar to this over here, all right? So a method can return a value. So let's see. Look at this method over here. Of course, this is just the name of the method, as if I'm calling it, all right? So this method is called getUserName. So from the name of the method, you can predict that this method is going to get the name of the user of your program. So this method will get the name and then it will return the value. It will give you the name of the user. And after that, you can print it, for example, using println, all right? So the return type of this method is some text. And as you know, in Java, text is a string, right? So the return type of this method is a string. Perfect. Let's have a look at another example. Look at this method over here, get user age. So this method will get the age of the user and return the value. So the return type is a number. And in Java, int and double are examples of types that are used with numbers. And we're going to talk about them later. But for now, just get the idea. The return type of this method will be a number, all right? So in summary, a function can give us or return a value. And this value has a type. It can be a text or it can be a number, for example. And also we have other types that we will see later on. So the return type of this method will be the same type as the value that the method returns, all right? So if it returns a string, then the type of the method will be a string. If it returns an integer, the type will be an integer. If it returns a double, the type will be a double, all right? So now let's see the void return type. As you know, main has a void return type. So main is a void function. So what do we mean by void? Simply, void means nothing, all right? So the main method does not return a value. This is how Java developers made the main method. Simply, it does not return a value, okay? Now let's see some examples of methods that have a void return type. So consider this method over here. It is called print username. So we can predict that this method is just going to print a string, which will be the username, all right? So we just want to print the name of the user. We don't want to get any value from this method, right? So this means that the return type of this method is void. Now let's have a look at this note. Every method has a very specific role. So for example, we have a method for getting the username and this method has a return type because it must return the username. And you have another method for printing the username. And this method has a void return type because it will not return anything. And this is why we said that a method is a group of instructions that do a specific task, all right? So what I want you to take from this lecture is that main has a void return type and this means it does not return a value or it does not give us a value. And later on, we're going to see some methods that return values and we're going to use them. And also, we will create our own methods that return values, all right? 
So this is it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.